Hey guys, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here on this channel, we try to cover all things reality, TV news, and gossip, as well as trending topics. I'm so sorry, I'm a few minutes late right before I sat down to start. Um, my whole Wi Fi shut down, so I had to go and reboot it. So I do apologize. In this video, we're going to be talking about Gypsy Rose Blanchard, her separation from her husband, Ryan Anderson, her hanging out with her ex-fiance, Ken. We're going to watch a TikTok video that her and Ken did the other day. Uh, I think it was just like three days. I think it was on the third. They went live on TikTok. They actually like answered some questions about their relationship, whether or not they're intimate, if she's pregnant. Uh, people were asking, where's the puppy? Because right after she got out of prison, her and her husband, Ryan, they got a puppy. Um, so people's been asking all kinds of questions like what is happening? What is going on? Why are they like, what is happening? You know, so we're going to go over all of that. You guys also, we're going to do a little bit of a body language analysis on the TikTok video because y'all let me just tell y'all while Ken and Gypsy may be saying they're friends, you ain't got to be a body language expert to see that there was some chemistry there. Okay. There was like. So we're going to watch the TikTok video and I'm going to give a little bit of an analysis for those that may be new. Um, I've been interested in body language for about two years or so. I'm currently in school for body language. I've been in school for several months. So um, it's something that I've been studying. I love body language. It is not an absolute though. Uh, different situations can cause people to react differently than normal. So, um, you know, with the analysis, just take that into consideration that there's no absolute, okay? There's no way to tell for sure if one person is lying or not. You can take several things into, a, into an account and it gives you a better idea if maybe they are, if they're not. But, you know, what friends flirt, hold hands, and stay the night together? I know. <laughs> Be quiet, Sean. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess Gypsy Rose, she's living her best life single life, married life, separated life. I don't know. But like I said, she's been spotted with her ex. Um, But for anybody that's kind of new to this story, I will take it back just a little bit, okay? Just to give a little bit more info on who Gypsy is, who Ryan is, who Ken is, in case you are just completely new to this. So Gypsy Rose Blanchard was released from prison in late December 2023 after serving seven years of a 10-year sentence for unaliving her mother, Didi Blanchard. In 2022, a year before her release, she married Ryan Anderson, which is the guy that we see over here. I'm always pointing the wrong way. That guy, that's Ryan Anderson, okay? She and Ryan started writing to each other in 2020. Well, Ryan reached out to Gypsy in 2020 on a dare. His friend was like, I dare you to write Gypsy. And he was like, I dare you to write the guy from Tiger King. So he sent a letter to Gypsy. Um, now, because Ryan is from Louisiana, she decided to respond to him because Gypsy's plans was after she got out of prison, she was going to move back home to Louisiana with her stepmom and her dad. They live um, down on the bayou. So her plan was to return to Louisiana and she wanted to make friends. So she decided she was going to respond to Ryan. They started chit-chatting. They started talking. Um, and then two years after they initially started talking, they got married while she was still behind bars. So who is Ken, right? Who is Ken? I think his last name is Erker. He is her ex-fiance. Ken reached out to Gypsy in 2017 while she was behind bars. He had watched Mommy Dead and Dearest and wanted to reach out to her. A year and a half later, in October 2018, the two would become engaged. However, the engagement would not last long. It would last about 10 months. And then August 2019, the two would call off their engagement. Three years later, almost to the day, yeah, three years later, August 2022, news broke that Gypsy had married Ryan Anderson. When Gypsy was released from prison, Ryan was there to pick her up. She immediately embarked on a press tour like no other. This girl was everywhere. She was on daytime television, podcasts, YouTube channels. She had a lifetime documentary come out, and Ryan was by, by her side through this entire whirlwind. Some people trolled Ryan for looking a little bit like Gypsy's deceased mother, while others warned Ryan to sleep with one eye open. Gypsy would often come to Ryan's defense in the comment sections, taken up for him. It appeared like the two were happy until 
I mean, literally in the interviews, I was like, I like them together. Like, I will be honest to say that I had doubts that it would last because she's never had freedom, really. So I was like, I don't know how it's going to be for her to get out of prison and be in a relationship already, you know. Uh, but I like them together. He seemed very laid back. He, I mean, watching interviews with them, he just always talked her up. He always seemed to just be all about her. So I don't know. I, I like them together. However, people started questioning if the relationship would last after this TikTok video come out. Let's watch it. Let's watch this TikTok video that came out. In this TikTok video, um, In this TikTok video, Gypsy was seen showing the same behaviors to Ryan that her mother would show to her. So Gypsy and Dee Dee did interviews on TV, and Gypsy told us that when she would go to say something that she wasn't supposed to say, her mom would like squeeze her hand, squeeze, squeeze her arm, squeeze her hand. And we saw that happen with Gypsy and Ryan in an interview. Ryan would make comments and Gypsy would like grab him. And it's, I mean, he would immediately look down like, like he didn't know what to do. So let's watch that really quickly, you guys. It's hard to, it's hard to do, but you can do it. Y'all saw that? Oh, I went from 19 to 32. Jeez, God, I got old so quick. <laughs> How did that happen? You never went to school either. Is Gypsy Rose back with her ex? Okay. Just days Let after. Let me just tell you once again. I actually did see this video a couple of days ago. Is Gypsy Rose. It's hard, it's hard. Once again, I don't think you have to be into body language to read that he was not well in this situation. Um, He immediately, he was shut down. I mean, he looked down. It was like nervousness. Like, oh my God, I said something wrong. I mean, listen, from looking at this, it's like, why was he so scared? Like, if my hubby says something and I squeezed him, I mean, he's not going to react that way. He's not going to be like, you know, I mean, he's going to be like, oh, okay, my bad. You know, my wife told me to say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that response was very concerning. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, we're going to watch it one more time. She doesn't look too happy. Her face over here doesn't look too... I'm wondering, Sean said I'd be terrified. No, you wouldn't. I'm wondering if, and this is something we have to take into account. Maybe before they started the interview, they were having a disagreement or something. Maybe they weren't okay with each other whenever they started the interview. And that's why from jump, they didn't seem well. They didn't seem as happy, go lucky as they do in all their other interviews. I'm going to wonder if earlier that day, he said something, she said something to where they just weren't in a good place at the time that they did the interview. It's hard, to, it's hard to do, but you can do it. He said, it's hard to do, but you can do it. And she pushed him and he did like a, he did like a, like, okay, look down. Oh, I went from 19 to 32. Jeez, God, I got old so quick. <laughs> when she said, I, I went from 19 to 32, I got old so quick. You can see him thinking about that. Like, he's like. So it's like, I don't think he meant to say anything to embarrass her when he's like, well, you know, you didn't go to school, though. When she made that comment, I think he really started thinking about it like, well, yeah, yeah, probably the, the, the public, that, that's how they do look at it. Like you were, you know, last they heard of you, you were, you know, a teenager and now you're coming out and you're 30 something. But I mean, my response would have been like, well, that's because you were in jail for so many years and nobody really heard much from you. But his response was, well, you know, you didn't go to school either. So, but I really think he was just like, that's the first time he had probably heard her say that. So he was thinking about it and that was his response and it wasn't a good one. And she quickly, I mean, she's laughing. How did that happen? You never went to school either. Is Gypsy Rose back with her ex? Just she never went to school either. She did the little nudge and he immediately was like, looks down again. I don't know that I'm not going to lie. Like something tells me they were not well when that interview took place. Okay. Now, at that point, at that point, people started wondering if things were okay and if the relationship would last. And like I said, I thought they would potentially separate. I don't think there's a chance that they'll get back together later on down the line, but I just knew like Gypsy never living a life 
where she had total freedom and then coming out of prison into a marriage you're not going to have 100 percent freedom and i think she was you know it took her a few months to notice that because here's the thing when you're married you have to do things on on your spouse's time as well you don't move into a house on your own and just have total freedom to live the way that you want to live to go to bed come and go the way that you want to her husband had a job he was a teacher so they had to go back to a schedule and that's kind of the way that it was you know so she did not come home to total freedom she had about two weeks maybe to where she just got home he had taken off work so they probably did whatever she wanted to do they had all these interviews lined up but once it was his time to go back to work she had to follow somewhat of his schedule you know what i'm saying so i did it i did at least assume there would be a separation at some point um but i did not see her reconnecting with her ex ken and the reason why is because on the vile files podcast i heard them say some things about ken so we're going to listen to that as well we're going to listen to some of the things that gypsy said about her ex ken on the vile files bear with me guys I have a million things up on my computer so i gotta talked about ken you know obviously you you needed to tell ryan that you spoke with him obviously mm -hmm. that was an omission that mm -hmm. is a lie that you you told right but being open and honest um the day that i got out of prison ken texted my stepmom and was like, like hey what's all. up i'm like oh so now he wants to come around no. and so i told ryan about it i was yeah. open and i'm like you know he's sniffing around i think now i'm free and i I don't think that he has respect for my marriage. Perfect. I feel Perfect. like, you know, if he's sniffing around to try and like break me and Ryan up or see if I will leave Ryan to get back with him. This is how I feel about it. If you're not going to be there at my worst, you do not deserve, deserve me at, at my best. best. So mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. and, and if you know anything about Gypsy's Instagram and you've seen the recent comments, she's not going anywhere. I'm you fine. Know, it turns out the right. D is fire. <laughs> D is fire. Come and yeah. so, get it, baby. Yeah, he's, he's, already, already, he's, already, you know, he's missed his chance. <laughs> it is what it is. But like how fire? Oh, so fire. So fire. <laughs> and did you so come and did you come and get it? I <laughs> did. I did. <laughs> yes, she did. She did. Okay, so hearing her say, like, you know, Ken immediately reached out when she got out of prison. That I was like, hmm. -mm. Him reaching out as soon as she got out of prison tells me there that he still obviously has some interest in her, wanting to know. Like, hey, can you send a message to her? Also, I cut this clip out because there was several clips where they did talk about Ken, but she said that throughout their courtship and her being in prison, she would see things in magazines and she would buy them and send them to Ken because at one point it was she wanted to move in with him, right? So it, she was ordering things, clothes and things like that, and sending them to his house. Um, but after they broke up, he refused to send them to her mom's house or her dad's house and she was like can you please send myself to my my dad's house so when i get out of prison i'll have it he refused he would not send her things to her dad's house he would say things like well you can just come get it so that told me there like he wanted to hold on to that so she would come get it you know what i'm saying yes i do remember the docuseries while she was still in prison she broke off the engagement with ryan more than once but they got married yep um okay we have a couple more clips that we're going to listen to also somebody said didn't he get fired didn't ryan get fired from the uh school and he did but that was like so when ryan and gypsy started dating um he would talk about gypsy a lot at the school and parents didn't like it they were concerned so he did get fired from that job but to my knowledge he went and worked at another school and he's still at that school. So the, the, the conversation about him getting fired from the school was uh, like a year or two ago or something. It was it was uh, it was not where he's at now. OK, so.
Um, in this video, they there's just a mention of her of, of her lying to Ryan about Ken. Um, not much, but I just thought it was interesting that, that she there was some conversation that she had with Ken, and she ended up having to tell Ryan about it. Talked about lying to Ryan mm -hmm. uh, about Ken. Mm -hmm. How have you guys continued to work through the struggles that you have had? And how has Ryan continued to be supportive throughout that struggle? So that's it there, that little clip. I just thought it was like, oh, wow. Okay. In her and Ryan's relationship, she lied to Ryan about Ken. I thought that was interesting. Um, all right. Let's see. There's two more very small clips. I think this is the other one. like i knew what we had you know that would what i was always fall back always fall back on is like we have it and i'm not gonna risk it you yeah. know it's one of those where i would say you push me off a cliff but you've seen those people that put tents on a cliff and they <laughs> nail it in i would be like i'm just hanging out for a couple of days it's no biggie and then when she'd finally peek over and be like you still there i'm like yeah i'm right here so i always come back but now that so that was interesting as well, considering what's going on right now. Her saying, I always come back. It makes me wonder, will she end up going back? And I try to say thank you uh, in the comment section. Uh, Elle, you're so, put Elle, you're so pretty. I just love your eyes. I try to say thank you, but it changed my text. Um, it did autocorrect, so it changed your name. I do apologize. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Him saying, you know, oh, we have this, like where she would kind of run me off and um but i would wait like i wasn't going anywhere i was just gonna sit waiting around and then she would say you still there and i said yep sure i sure am and she said i'm always gonna come back i thought that was interesting for her to say i'm always gonna come back i thought hmm, okay um, let's see i don't think we're gonna play that one just a few clips of them talking about ken on the prior video i thought was like well I don't think she's going to get back with him. I mean, literally, Ryan talked about how he is a, he called Ken a dumb, a dumb ASS. And she laughed about it. She thought it was funny. She didn't really seem like it bothered her to hear Ryan talk about him like that. Um, anyways, uh, so, yeah, I didn't think that she would get back with Ken necessarily, but it looks like I was wrong. Uh, I mean, because the two were spotted out and about. But literally the same day the news broke that her and Ryan had separated, her and Ken was spotted out at a tattoo parlor getting matching tattoos. They were literally spotted out getting matching tattoos. I mean, that is wild. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Ruth. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. So, um... The support is appreciated so much. Thank you. Okay, so here they are. Getting matching tattoos. This is in her cousin Bobby's tattoo parlor. Y'all, this is literally TMZ reports that her and Ryan separate. And then the next article, like hours later, is, oh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard spotted at a tattoo parlor getting matching tattoos with her ex, Ken. You guys, do y'all watch 90 Day Fiance? Does this not look like um, Ronald from Ronald Smith that married Tiffany? I swear they look just alike. Anyways, I have some other photos if you guys. Let me let me show you guys. I have some other photos of her and um, Ken whenever he was, they were in prison. When she was in prison. And he went to visit her. Okay, so this is July 2019. Obviously, Gypsy's dad, her stepmom, Christy, and that is Ken, and that is Gypsy. Um, this photo, he doesn't really look like 90 Day Fiance. Um, Ronald, but in the other photo, he did. Um, so, 
So it was always said that like he didn't really like the spotlight. And so his social medias were always private. And that was one of the things that they kind of was kind of concerning to him is like, I don't want to be out there like if we're together, you know. But now they're like all out there. I mean, you're out there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, according to media outlets, Gypsy decided to move back home down on the bayou with her dad and her stepmom after Ryan displayed some signs of jealousy when it came to her spending time with her family. Ryan lives in Lake Charles while Gypsy's dad lives in Golden Meadows. So it's about a three and a half hour drive. I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, well, Ryan lives in Louisiana and Gypsy's parents, dad lives in Louisiana. So they must be close. Listen, it's three and a half hours. Okay. Um, let's see. Here is where. Oh my gosh, Dobbs! Thank you so much for gifting memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know who I got the memberships. Let me check real quick. All right. So, can somebody grab that really quickly? Oh, never mind. It's taking a while. Okay, so this is her and Brian. Now, according to what's being reported, Gypsy was telling her friends that Ryan was not supporting her trying to build her bond with her family, specifically her father. Um, she said that Ryan made her feel guilty about not spending time with him exclusively like if she would want to go spend time with her family he had an issue with it sources with direct knowledge are saying that gypsy has been saying that her estranged hubby ryan anderson had become super argumentative post prison release and was constantly making her feel like she couldn't do anything right after spending years behind bars it's being said that gypsy was eager to reconnect and build relationships with her family of course sources are saying that she felt suffocated by ryan's constant guilt tripping we're also hearing through Gypsy's inner circle, or we're also hearing Gypsy's that Gypsy's inner circle had serious concerns about Ryan's intentions, especially over the fact that he only reached out to Gypsy on a dare. Uh, he didn't reach out to her because he really wanted to talk to her. It was like a dare, you know. Um, so it looks like Gypsy and maybe some other family members were questioning Ryan's true intentions and starting to believe that he maybe wasn't the best person for her. Now, this is what we know. Ken flew in this past Sunday from Texas to Louisiana because Ken doesn't live in Louisiana. He flew in for a visit and to support his ex fiance amid her separation from her hubby, Ryan. Ken was in for about four days. And in the four days, Ken and Gypsy got matching tattoos. They were spotted picking up some things from the DG. They were spotted having lunch. They were spotted in the French quarters exploring New Orleans. Uh, and going live on TikTok to answer questions. Questions ranging from, is Gypsy pregnant? Who has the dog? And um, are, there in, are they intimate? So we're going to watch the TikTok. But before we do, we're going to look at the pictures of them out and about as friends. Because let me tell you guys, in these photos, they don't look like just friends. They're holding hands. They're super close. So let's look at the photos. Thank you, Davies. Thank you so much. Okay, so here is a Gypsy and um, Ken at lunch. And tell me why his hair looks gray in this photo, but in the other one, it did not. I don't know. Filter. Here's their matching. Oh, y'all, they're matching tattoos and they have matching bracelets. I didn't notice that, but now I do. Look at that. His is a darker, mainly darker with the one white and then hers is white with the one dark okay here they are again in new orleans y'all the way at uh, the hand on him like that that is definitely the way that you would stand you know with your partner with your boyfriend with your girlfriend you know if i don't know if you're just friends you're gonna i don't know if you're gonna be like 
also that 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 leg up is a very feminine flirtatious stance that a female has um how do gifted memberships work you can like buy them and they just randomly select people um so this is a very flirtatious um this is like a, a um a female courtship uh uh signal right so females that are in courtship or want to be in courtship with this particular person they will act a certain way right so a lot of playing with the hair looking at you from the corner of their eye uh, and a lot of real smiles smiles that you know you can see with the eyes because the eyes become constricted right so when you're fake smile you don't really see it with the eyes but when there's a real smile you see it with the eyes right um like i said this leg thing the way that she's got that leg that the bottom of her heel picked up and her leg out that is a very like flirtatious stance i stand that way in a lot of my photos just because i know it looks cute i'm like i become aware of like how i take photos like a while back because when i was little i looked so bad in all my photos so i started like like i make sure and my family picks on me because i'm very in all my photos you know but i'm very conscious of it and maybe she just is too and it's not a flirtatious it's, she's not standing that way uh for any other reason other than just she's just super aware but i you guys that looks like that looks like like a photo that you take with your your bae you know what i'm saying your boo thing okay let's see there's the tattoos again there's them getting the tattoos there they are when she was in jail oh oh her and ryan i'm sorry all right let's see There was also um, some photos of them at the DG. Let me see. Gypsy Rose, Blanchard, and Ken Erker. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, she's grown. Even if she don't want to be dating him, if this is just going to be like, you know what? He was in for a few days. We like each other. And we were just bumping uglies for a minute. She grown. She grown. <laughs> she grown. Um, so here they are again. She's well aware of the photos, which is kind of confusing to me. Because let me tell you guys something. Let me tell y'all something. TMZ ain't hanging out in Louisiana. TMZ is not hanging out at the bottom, the very tippity bottom of the boot of louisiana i mean they live in the bottom of the boot pretty much like it's water you know what i'm saying like if you go much further water so the fact that tmz was there let me see I, hold on let me figure out if tmz owns these photos or either somebody took the photos and she was aware because she was smiling or um somebody called them and was like hey we're gonna be here they're gonna be here but she did not seem bothered by the fact that somebody was taking photos like the even though her and ryan had just split up she seemed okay i mean she was smiling he on the other hand he's looking down and y'all i think there's a reason why he had a girlfriend he had a girlfriend but they're broken up and on the tiktok the lady that was like asking them questions was like you guys he broke up with his girlfriend and he did not like that comment his body language said so. When that woman said, oh, guys, he broke up with his girlfriend, he went from smiling to, well, no, it was a, it was a mutual agreement. I mean, it, so that could be why right here, you see him looking down. Um, so let's look at a few more photos and then we're gonna watch that TikTok video. Like I said, she's grown, she can do what she wants to do. That You know, they may not be boyfriend and girlfriend per se, but something going on with them okay so here they are again um she's looking straight at, towards the, you know whoever's taking photos they've already got the um tattoos it looks like they got like the stuff of like playing a vehicle like the armor stuff anyways not that it matters Here's another one. Uh, 
She's smoking her cigarette. She's looking at something like on the back of his neck or the back of his head. Also in these photos, there's several photos of them right here in this area. And she's got her hand on his leg and he's got his hand on her hand. Very affectionate towards each other. Um, so yeah, you guys, they have been hanging out. He has left to go back home. He left uh, yesterday. He was there for four days. I think it was yesterday. Um, but let's watch this TikTok, okay? Let's go ahead and watch the TikTok. I've added captionings, and I'm going to play it one time all the way through. I'm going to play it one time all the way through, and I'm going to play it one time and stop to give a little body language analysis. Now, it's only a minute and 46 seconds, so it's not a lot, but there's some stuff in here, okay? She is supposedly having a nose job. Yes, she is. I did see that. All right, let's go. Yes, let's see them in person because they were saying they don't look new. There you go. They're brand new. They're fresh. They're still red. Yeah, they're still they're still healing. <laughs> okay. She's not pregnant. For everybody who keeps asking, no, I'm I'm on. She's birth not control. pregnant. Like, what the hell? And we have not had any intimacy. We're okay, just hanging out. Us, We're just total friends. All, We're just hanging out as friends. That's all it is. Just like I said, do whatever you're gonna do. You both adults. Yeah, I'm just clout chasing. LOL. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Uh, do you guys notice that I, I don't post any content? I'm not a content creator. All my socials are private. He broke up with his girlfriend. It's a mutual separation, but yes. Excuse me. Mutual separation. They want to know where your puppy is, for God's sake. Please answer that. I, I he's, uh, She is with Ryan. I gave her to Ryan, like... I didn't want to uproot her from everything that she knows. So she loved Ryan more. So I let him keep the puppy. And so apparently someone had reported to my PO that Ken is a felon. And everybody knows oh that God. if you parole, you can't hang out with other convicted felons. So I've already told them that he's not. I've already. He's wrong. He doesn't have a criminal record. Never been in prison. Nope. Nope. He's not a felon. No felons. So I'm not. <laughs> If there's anything else you want to clarify, yeah. you know, I'm pretty good at passing messages. <laughs> I do not have an OnlyFans. Whatever is going around with OnlyFans, that's not me. I would never do that. Okay. So because let's see them in person. Because Sorry, guys. I'm going to back that up. Uh, I want to play it one time all the way through. And then we're going to play it again, and I'm going to stop, and I'm going to give a little body language analysis. Like I said, nothing's absolute. You take things into context. And here's the thing. Like, uh, doing a movement like that can mean several things. So you have to take the conversation into context. You have to take a lot of things into context, right? So there's some things that, like, can mean something else. But because of the discussion and because of uh, what's happening, you can almost kind of pinpoint, like, oh, I'm pretty sure it means this though versus this right so let's go ahead let's watch again i'm gonna stop it at a couple of places okay so for one even right here we can start even right here her hand is touching their arms are touching you can go ahead and get it if you need to it's uh right there <laughs> oh dang okay yeah. I'm bring you did josh get her yeah okay so their arms are touching um which i mean we've seen them holding hands so it's not like yeah um but when you see when, when i play the video and you see them kind of relax her hand her head is like almost right on his shoulder um uh, like she's got her hand like this and her head is like almost right on his shoulder so they're very 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 close okay as they were saying they don't look new there you go. They're brand new. They're fresh. They're still red. Yeah, they're still they're still healing. <laughs> she was leaned like way into him. They are giggling about like a bunch of schoolgirls. They may have looked like they was um, I don't know, like it was four twenty over there or something. I mean, he he was very like, ha, 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 which whatever, do your thing. You know, I don't care. I mean, but I was like, are they high or something? <laughs> I, don't, I doubt she is because she probably can't be, but. I wondered about him. I probably shouldn't say that, but it did kind of look like it. Okay. She's not pregnant for everybody who keeps asking. No, I'm, I'm on she's birth not control. pregnant. Like, what the hell? Okay. Okay. When he said she's not pregnant for everyone that keeps asking. So 
So the way that his eyes widened and his eyebrows went up, it was like, uh, so there's a few reasons why this happens. Fear or surprise. So if you're, oh my God, or like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it can be surprise or fear. But because they're asking about her being pregnant, it was like surprise. Like she's not pregnant. Like, oh, she's not pregnant, you know? So I thought, well, he's not, there's not going to be fear in him answering that question because why would there be, you know? And then what he said after that, he said, we haven't even been intimate. So it seems that he's surprised by the question because he thinks they're asking if maybe she's pregnant by him. He's like, she's not pregnant. Like, oh my God, quit asking. Wait, we're not even having sex. It's like surprising you guys could even think that, you know? So um, I think, have they legally filed for divorce? Not to my knowledge. So it seems like he's shocked that they, that they would even ask that because they've only been together for a few days, you know? Asking. No, I'm, I'm on She's birth not control. pregnant. Like, what the hell? And we have not had any intimacy. We're okay, just hanging so out. We're just okay, that right there. No intimacy. Look at Gypsy grinning back there. She is grinning. And I almost felt like she was doing the Duper's Delight grin, like, which is the... um. So the duper's delight is when you lie and you think you probably got away with it. So you have this emotional rush uh, and, and you grin and you grin. Like when you tell a, a fib or you see somebody telling a fib and you think people have like are going to buy it. So you're like, you know, so I wondered if it was like the duping delight, duper's delight, or I wondered if it was just, she's just geekly about it. Because I, I think they've been intimate. I mean, that is just me, the way he looked back at her. He's like, we haven't been intimate. He wants to make sure she's on the same page as him to not say anything. Like, oh, we haven't been intimate. I mean, if you really haven't been intimate, wouldn't you be like, guys, we haven't even been intimate. And she would be like, no, we haven't. You know, it, it wouldn't be like, we haven't been intimate, right? Like, right? Is this what we're going to say? <laughs> like, the way he said that seemed so, I didn't believe it for a second. Like, what the hell? <laughs> and we have not had any intimacy. We're okay, just hanging out. Says, we're just total friends. All, we're just hanging out as friends. That's all it is. Oh, look at that. We're just hanging out as friends. That all, that's all it is. He's literally shaking his head. No. We're just friends. That's, that's all it is. It's finally love. Oh, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Shayna, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. So he literally said, we're just hanging out as friends. That's all it is. Shaking his head. No. Meaning, nope, that's not all it is. We're not just friends. Total Don't friends. All we're just hanging out as friends. That's all it is. Just like I said, do whatever you're going to do. You're both adults. Yeah, I'm just clout chasing. LOL. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, do you guys notice? He really thought that was funny. Like, he really thinks that it's funny that people saying that he's cloud chasing. Whether or not he is or not, I don't know. But he really did think that was funny. Just that I, I don't post any content. I'm not a content creator. All my socials are private. He broke up with his girlfriend. It's a mutual separation, but yes. Excuse me. Mutual separation. They want to okay. know where your puppy is. He did not like that. He did not like, he went from, hold on, let me see. He went from like smiling and laughing to he dropped that smile really quickly. Um, to like a shock. Hurt, like what? Um, so a couple of things. Okay, so raised eyebrows can mean several things from, you know, when you flirt with somebody, you'll raise your eyebrows. When you're giving like a silent greeting, hey, how are you? Um, we can rule those two out, you know. Surprise and disapproval are other reasons why one might raise her eyebrows the way that he did. He also looked away. So she's like, he broke up with his girlfriend. And she, it takes it a moment to even register to him what she said. He's laughing to all of a sudden. Um. It was a mutual separation. Looks away to say that it was a mutual separation. So when someone looks away, it could be because they are uncomfortable with even what they're saying or what the other person said. So he looks away. Um, also, people can look away when they're trying to hide something. And then after that, whenever he came back around, he pursed his lips and then pulled them off to one side. 
Now, that can indicate frustration or disapproval again. The pursed lips is a classic sign of anger. Like, I mean, avoidance, anger. Yeah, uh, the the looking away can be avoidance um, to even talking about this girlfriend. But let me tell you guys something. This situation, uh, this whole thing right there, uh, he broke up with his girlfriend. He switched that up quick. It was a mutual separation. He did not like the, the, the lady that was talking. Uh, even said that he broke up with the girlfriend, which leads me wondering why. Did he really break up with the girlfriend? Um, does he hope maybe to get back home to be able to reconnect with the girlfriend? Uh, what is, uh, what is, did the girlfriend break up with him? And he's worried that she may see this. And he's like, it was a mutual separation. Uh, so this whole, that how he acted and responded, he was shocked to hear the woman say that. He didn't like that the woman said that. He quickly turned his head to say that it was a mutual separation. Um, he, he was not happy that she said that. Let me tell you guys, I can tell you that with certainty that he did not like that. Um, so yeah, looking away can be because you're distracted, um, but it can also be because you're uncomfortable or you're trying to hide something. The purse lips pulled to the side can in indicate frustration and dis dis disapproval. Um, like I said, the purse lips is the classic sign of anger. Okay, so y'all want to watch it again just to see what he's saying or saying that. It's a mutual separation and creator all my socials are private he broke up with his girlfriend it's a mutual separation but yes excuse me mutual separation they want to know where your puppy is for god's sake please answer that i i he's uh she is with ryan i gave her to ryan like I didn't want to uproot her from everything that she knows. So she loved Ryan more. So I let him keep the puppy. And so apparently someone had reported. Okay. The the questions about the puppy, I feel like made her uncomfortable, which is why she stuttered. I mean, she stuttered so much that her brain was like trying to figure out how to answer this question that she called the puppy by the wrong sex. You know, um, I don't know what the puppy is. I think, she, I think it's a she, but she called it a he at first. So she's like, uh, uh, he, he, she, um, and she's trying to explain, have a good enough reason, but I think she's even worried herself that she's going to get backlash for leaving the puppy. So I think she didn't like that people were asking her about the puppy. Reported to my PO that Ken is a felon and everybody knows oh that God. parole, you can't hang out with other convicted felons. So I've already told them that he's not. I've already... He's wrong. He doesn't have a criminal record, never been in prison. Nope. Nope. He's not a felon. No felon. So I'm not I, if there's anything else you want to clarify, yep. you know, I'm pretty good at passing messages. <laughs> I do not have an OnlyFans. Whatever is going around with OnlyFans, that's not me. I would never do that. Okay. Yeah. So there's that. Just my little analysis watching the two of them, the questions about the intimacy the way that she was grinning the way that he kind of looked back at her for like approval on what he was saying and listen if they're being intimate i mean her and her not together she honestly i feel like she probably shouldn't have got married in prison and had time to come out and live a life where she, there was not like nobody controlling what time she had to go to bed you know what time they had to get up or just let her have her time to adjust and do be able to do whatever she wanted to do. I, and here's the thing. I don't know much about Ryan, but watching him in his interviews, he always really did come off as very genuine. He really did come off as like he really cared about Gypsy. Uh, I don't think anybody thought that her getting out would blow up the way that it did. Um, but yeah, I mm, I think she's happy. Like the way that, the, you know, looking straight at the camera as they're taking pictures and she's smiling. I don't think she's worried about these photos getting back to Ryan at all, which makes me believe that she's either that maybe in her mind, she thinks she's done with him. In my mind, I feel like she may not be done with him. Um, but I feel like she may think that she is because the way that she was able to look right at the camera, smiling, knowing these photos were going to be everywhere and that Ryan would see them. I think they're being intimate. Um, I think there is something with Kent and the girlfriend. I don't think that he broke up with the girlfriend. Um, I think he is unsure of what's going to happen with them. That's why he didn't want any re anything really said about the girlfriend, especially 
It being said that he broke up with her. He corrected that so quick and he did not like the fact that it was brought, brought up. Um, and then the puppy, she was uncomfortable with the puppy question, in my opinion. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, that stuff definitely happens. So. Uh. Where's Nicole? I don't see Nicole. But that's what it is, you guys. She has been hanging out with the ex, seeming to have a lot of fun. He seemed to have a lot of fun. I hate that I missed the TikTok, but that clip is up everywhere. I mean, TMZ had it. I don't know who it was that was asking the questions. I wish I did, so maybe I could go find more of the video but it seems the camp is back home i'm just curious what's going to happen from here on out i think she married a daddy figure why would gypsy wait with ken when she would do it in the theater bathroom it doesn't add up i was confused for a second but now i get what you're saying i was like wait what um nicole i'm not seeing your comment so i see other people saying they're praying for nicole i'm not seeing your comment but wait do I see it? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sending thoughts and prayers your way. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, you guys. So if you want me to continue keeping up with Gypsy and everything going on in her life, let me know. Uh, I mean, it was a lot whenever she got out of prison. And there was so much that like I covered a little bit. But then I just felt like it was. There were so many people it, from every platform covering her. So I kind of, I kind of chilled out. But when I saw this TikTok, I was like, I got to at least at minimum do a body language analysis on it. And then I decided, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and talk about all of it. Her with Ryan and then now with Ken and this little TikTok video. Do you guys have your thoughts in the comment section below? What do you guys think about Gypsy and Ryan? Do you guys, did you guys call it? Like, did you think that they wouldn't last long? If so, why? And do you guys think that she's going to end up with um, Ken? I mean, he doesn't live there. So, I mean, I would be shocked if she did end up with Ken. So, let me know. Um, shout out to Ruth for the super sticker. Shana for the super sticker. Dive views for gifting five LB memberships. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys. So, thank you for hanging out with me. I probably won't do another video. I had a late start today. I do apologize. A lot going on in my little old life. A like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe it's Saturday, so maybe not, but if not, for sure, Monday. Bye, guys.